Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we had some very wonderful golf matches over the last two days. Uh, very balanced, great golf. Um, you were five times I'm at the champion. You played championship go golf all over the world. Um, you played world championships. You were world champion, Walker Cup winner, um, captain of the RNA, and um, one of the most important uh, golf administrators we, we had. Um, what does it mean to you to have your name uh, in a trophy that opposes amateur players from Europe and uh, Asia Pacific? Well, when I was playing, uh, amateur team events were the things I really enjoyed most of all. Mm. Uh, golf is very, very much an individual game most of the time, but when you get the chance to play in a team, represent your country or your continent, then that is something very special. And when I played amateur golf, played in team events, we didn't have as many then as we do now. But I made so many friends. And it's great to see here this week all these players, boys and girls from different countries, coming together and getting on so well and playing so well. And to my mind, that uh, if I had, could have anything named after me, usually they only do it when you're dead. <laughs> But uh, to have a team, team trophy like this named after me is a great, great honour and I'm delighted about it. So, and uh, are you, how important are these top amateur events uh, to the development of the game? Well, uh, if you don't have good top amateurs, then, then you don't have the flow coming through from underneath. But of course, it's very, very important that you have the youngsters coming, coming right on at the beginning. A lot of people now turn pro and uh, unfortunately they don't make it. But the problem is to keep the ones who don't make it, keep them interested in golf and give them events to play in mm -hmm. and not just have events purely for the elite amateurs, most of whom are going to turn pro anyway. For unfortunate reasons, of course, um, it's the second time Portugal hosts the Bonalic Trophy. We did have it in 2012, uh, you and Lady Angela attended that event. Now we have it again in 2016 in the north of Portugal, which is a, a known region for most of the golfers because they all tend to know the Algarve, but not the north of the country. Uh, what are your thoughts so far about the north of Portugal and uh, its conditions and its beauty? As I know you had the opportunity to visit some of the, this region with Manuel Agrelos well, uh, early in the week. Well, certainly it's sad that uh, because of events that occurred that uh, this event wasn't yet be able to uh, play it in Turkey but on the other hand it's given us a wonderful opportunity to come back to Portugal and see, see part of Portugal I've never seen before I now think I've seen the real Portugal uh, the Algarve uh, is totally different in good golf courses but the countryside around here and the, and the beautiful terrain and the friendliness of the people here is something very special I think and I'm very pleased that we have come to northern Portugal to, to play this. So it's, it would be, it's a good part of the country also to play golf and visit and have a good gastronomy, the wines and everything. We, we had no idea, we, both Andrew and I said, well, we wouldn't we really enjoy coming back here again because there's so much to see. And uh, as you say, great wines, good <laughs> restaurants, wonderful place. Thank you. You were um, recently awarded the honorary membership of the Portuguese Golf Federation. This is my opinion. It's a much deserved award. I know all the support you've given Portugal while you were, you were the secretary of the RNA. I know you had several conversations with Manuel Agrelos. He always tells me that any time he was in doubt, he would seek advice from you. Uh, so I understand that you know a little bit what's going on in our country in terms of golf over the last uh, 20, 25 years. How, did you, how do you see the evolution of the game in our country? Well, uh, it's great to see golf developing in Portugal the way it has. And you, you've had some difficult times like every other country has. But uh, you've got a very, great, very good team. All of you work together with Manuel leading it as president. And you're doing a wonderful job. And uh, to have this twice in four years just shows the enthusiasm of the Portuguese Golf Federation and people who run golf in Portugal. And I only hope that it'll encourage even more youngsters. I know you're doing your best to try and get youngsters into the game. 
but I admire the way in which Portugal has uh, has gone about that and uh, I think you obviously have a great future because it is a game for all ages, especially for the young. Thank you very much, Sir Michael. It was a pleasure having you here in this well, quick conversation. Having been in Portugal, you and Lady Angela, I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. We and let's watch some fantastic golf over the next uh, uh, few hours and tomorrow. Let's Thank hope you very the weather much. stays like this. Let's hope so. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, Sir Michael.